My name is Dennis Keel. I'm the chief curator at the Light Factory. Welcome to this exhibition. Of course, the Light Factory is located in Uptown Charlotte in Spirit Square. This exhibition, The Calm Before the Storm, Human Interactions with the Natural Landscape, it was actually inspired by a landmark exhibition in 1975 at the George Eastman House called The New Topographics. Prior to that, a lot of uh, photographers like Ansel Adams were photographing nature and the landscape to show us how beautiful it was. But uh, in 1975, a lot of photographers were looking at how we as humans have dealt with this particular landscape for, the be for better or worse. And many shows have uh, taken place since then and for, the, for me, this exhibition is a uh, continuation of, of that subject matter. It's how the human, how we have interacted with uh, nature and uh, we're looking at uh, whether we've done a good job, whether things are as bad as they were or maybe have gotten worse. Uh, this, show, uh, <laughs> this show consists of four photographers, each photographer who has looked at that su this subject matter in, in a different, but in many cases, uh, a similar way. Well, this work here is by Camille Seaman. She lives in Emeryville, California, and she's worked, done work for National Geographic. She's a TED Fellow, and she was a 2007 uh, Critical Mass monograph winner, so she's done very well. Uh, this is a series in, in Antarctica and also the, you know, these mammoth icebergs. And so what's really great about these is that they are very, very large. It almost makes you feel like you're right there with these very dramatic icebergs. What she's done in this particular piece, which I think is, you could say, is sort of a 19th century um, uh, effect, is that she has people walking to the iceberg, so it gives it scale, so it makes it even look, will make you think it's even larger than you may have imagined had you not seen these, these people. All right, this is another one of Camille's photographs. It's called The Crumbling Iceberg, and it's a very dramatic uh, image, as you can tell. And what's really great about it, what really fascinates a lot of viewers, is not so much the actual iceberg, which is what pulls them into the photo, but also the background and, and what's, what's receding in the background and the landscape there, and many people have thought, wow, just being there must be uh, an incredible thing. Um, and one of the, what, that's one of the approaches that Camille does, which fits in really well with the theme of the calm before the storm, because she creates an, initially a beautiful image that draws you in, and the more you look at it, you realize that these icebergs are actually melting. And this is a series called The Last Iceberg. So the question is, how, is, how and why is this happening? Is it because of us, just because of the nature of, of life in general? We don't know. Uh, one of the things about this series uh, is that you really need to see them in person because as you can tell right here, they are very large. And uh, so you should come to the gallery here at the Light Factory to see the work um, in the flesh, more or less. I encourage you to come to the Light Factory to see the exhibition. It runs through May 6th. I encourage you to see the work of all the artists, especially Camille Seaman. You must see this work in person. And also, Camille will be here March 22nd to lecture at UNC Charlotte's main campus. It's at 7 p.m. For more information, go to our website at www.lightfactory.org.